What up guys, Tyler here with TarverAcademy.com and today I wanna to talk to you about what a digital footprint is. Digital footprint, okay, so think of a real footprint. Um, if you're walking on the beach and you walk by somewhere, it, a footprint is, shows where you were. It shows the path you've taken. It shows where you were located. Um, a digital footprint is exactly that, but with the internet. So your digital footprint's gonna show uh, where you've been in the World Wide Web, if you will. This includes posts that you've made, any remarks you've made on your wall, or tweeted out, or put a picture up. Those are posts you've made, so it's content that you've put out there. It also represents things that you have liked or retweeted. A lot of people think, well, I just liked the photo, I didn't say it, or I just, I just liked the comment, or I retweeted the comment. It still means you're responsible. That's, when you do that, that's like saying, hey, I support this, I agree with this, this is something that I, I want to be behind. It's almost just as good as you saying it if you repost it to your account, okay? So that still affects your digital footprint. The other one is your digital footprint, 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 that's a word. Digital footprint is not only what you've done, but it also could be what other people have put out there about you. So think of it like this. It is your profile, your resume for the internet when someone types in your name. Now, some people would like to be off the grid. They don't like anything on there. Well, that's good I, for them if they don't want a presence online and they don't want their voice out there, but also it means that other people's voices will shine a little brighter when someone types in your name. So if you're a public figure and you don't have any accounts on there, whenever people search your name, it's gonna show up stuff that other people have said about you. And while we can't control that, it's good to keep that in mind um, when we're thinking of what we wanna put out there. So I encourage you to be safe when using the internet and to be conscientious of what you're doing because it's always gonna be with you. I mean, it is. The internet, probably not a fad. It's gonna stick around for a few minutes. So be very aware of what you're liking, what you're retweeting, what you're reposting, what you're promoting, and you think, well, it's only there for 24 hours. A screenshot's forever, okay? So be aware, uh, be safe, and realize that's what your digital footprint is. And if you're thinking that your employer in the future is not gonna search you on the internet before they hire you, then you're not thinking correctly. Because that's the first thing we do whenever we hire somebody, we always look, go through some stuff to see how responsible they are with the internet and what is their voice. Because it's a pretty good indicator of what somebody's all about. So thank you guys for tuning in. You wanna subscribe? That's cool. And as always, keep being the hero in your classroom. Peace. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching my training video. If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free, costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. Hey, also, if you want me to come to your school and help train your teachers or your administrators or your students and help make your life easier with Google, just let me know. I've got links in the bio on how to get a hold of me. DM me at Tyler Tarver on Instagram or Twitter. You can go hit my email, tylertarver at gmail.com. Um, or you can just yell really loud. Maybe I'm close. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. You want me to come training from Google? No? Okay. It'll be fun. We'll learn a lot. And I'll give you a bunch of resources. So, thank you guys. Hey, did you subscribe? We talked about it earlier. No pressure. But if you want to, I'll be here. I'm just going to wait right here. Look at this lighting. Oh, wow.